Um, okay, so I'd like to, to, to start by, you know, uh, projecting this future of uh, fleets of autonomous cars on the streets, uh, independent and coming and responding to our needs, talking to each other, taking over the streets, optimizing traffic, and uh, paying us for the energy which we actually provide them with from our solar panels on our houses. Well, uh, actually that future is what the my uh, co-panelists here are talking, or my panelists, <laughs> just the moderator in this case, are uh, working on and are actually preparing the infrastructure for that future. So I would like to start by you know, asking you, inviting you to briefly, in one or two phrases to introduce yourselves and also let me know at the same time, uh, how did you uh, start with Moby and, and why? I guess I start, so as my name says it, no, it's probably, probably written as an E at the end, only my name is Sébastien. And I'm uh, French, I work for Renault, car manufacturer that owns a bit of Nissan, and I spent the last four years in the Silicon Valley office working on uh, what's called business innovation, changing the future of how, of how we, we, the cars, we do business with the cars, we sell cars. And so to answer the second part of the question, that led me to speak with Chris Ballinger uh, a year and a half ago, something like this, not even more, time goes by fast. And his idea was uh, that there's this new technology that's called blockchain that the industry, it's new for the industry, the industry is trying to comprehend, to understand, and uh, lots of OEMs, car manufacturers are doing experiments with it, but uh, none of these are very, uh, they're very similar, but they don't talk to each other. And so his idea is that the car business is a very complex business where the goods, the vehicles, they, they, they are traded sell my Renault to buy something else, uh, could be another Renault, could be a Dacia. Uh, so we need transparency. And he came with the idea of like federating a group of car manufacturers to work together and the st on the standards of the future to federate and to use this technology all together. Yeah, so um, I would say the, the folks that are not here, they're missing out, I think, on the best panel Whole. But it is videotape, so they will see it later. Oh, okay. So watch what you say anyway. You're missing the live aspect of it. But I, I would also characterize Moby as a consortium of uh, not just OEMs, but uh, startups, protocols, uh, consultancies, uh, academia. I mean, we have all the major protocols like R3, uh, Consensus, uh, Hyperledger, Tenement. Uh, we have all the major OEMs. BW, Honda, BW, and so on, um, and then we have a, a host of other companies. So our, our whole motive is to accelerate. Please hold the mic close because of the video. That's why we have these lights, but because otherwise uh, you will not be recorded on the video. The mic has to be close. Oh, okay, sorry. So uh, the, our, our, our motive is to accelerate the usage of blockchain um, to enable cheaper, greener, more efficient, safer, and more accessible mobility. So I think if we are, uh, we'll speak more about this later, but uh, I think if, we're, if we are successful in the implementation, I think the ecosystem and the economy of mobility will completely change in the next five to 10 years, and, and we'll talk about that. Thank you. So uh, I'm from Quantstam. Quantstam is a blockchain security company. Uh, our mission statement is to enable adoption of the blockchain technology through promoting security and ensuring that uh, all the applications on blockchain are actually secure. So, uh, you know, if you look around uh, in the enterprises and in, uh, industry sphere, there are actually not so many uh, applications of blockchains that are currently live and functioning and being used by the people, right? So uh, when we you know, saw that Mobi is actually connecting the automotive manufacturers into adoption of blockchain, uh, we wanted to join and we wanted to join to promote the security and to make sure that all the standards drafted by Mobi are actually nice and secure. Yes, thank you so much. And uh, Michael, and you also 